In this video I wanted to show you how to properly set up your workflow to begin editing in Premiere Pro. Having your project set up correctly and organised to begin with will be a lifesaver down the line, especially for projects that you are working on for long periods of time. To begin, we will start with importing and organising your footage. I always create a folder and name it an exact way. Typically, I would begin with the year, so 2022, the date, and then the month, and then finally add the name of your project. So for example here I have created a folder, the year is 2022, the date is the 13th, and the month is April. We are planning to call this video how to start for beginners. So the folder will be called 2022-1304, how to start for beginners. This simplifies trying to find the folder if you ever need to go back to the project and adjust in the future. As well as this, it keeps your hard drives nice and tidy. Inside this folder, I create five different folders. These are called footage, project file, exports, assets, and finally audio. You don't always have to have all these different folders, but I like to have them just in case as every project is different. So if you have a think after your first edit of the different files that you would need for each of your projects and create folders for that every time, then that will save you a load of time in the future. So once you have shot your footage, hopefully with the correct shutter speed and frames per second, if you import any footage that you have off of your memory card and into the footage folder, naming the different cameras that you've used like Acam, Bcam and so on, Doing the same for any external audio you have recorded or music you need, as well as with any assets that you have if you're creating a video for a specific client. You might have their logos in the assets folder or if you're creating a YouTube channel and need access to your outro for each video, then having the outro in the assets folder means you don't have to go searching for your files every time. Once all your folders are set up, I immediately copy my original folder to another hard drive so that I have a backup file in case my computer gets corrupted. This is by choice and doesn't have to be done, but most projects I'm working on are client-based and need backups as I don't want to take the risk. But if you're working on a YouTube video and aren't really too bothered or don't have any external hard drives, then this isn't a necessity. So now that our backup has transferred over, we're going to open Premiere Pro. If you don't have Premiere Pro at the minute, there is a 30 day free trial link in the description below that you should check out and hopefully you will eventually get the Adobe Suite package. Having all the software that Adobe offers is very useful. So we've now opened up Premiere Pro. If you go over to the new project icon over on the top left and call it a similar name to what you've named your folder, so in this instant, 22, 13, 04, how to start for beginners. Then if you click the browse button on the right hand side and save the project file into the project file folder that we created earlier. This means all your auto saves will also go into that folder and you have it all neatly together. Once Premiere Pro has opened all up, if you go down to the project panel, double click in the middle and find where the folder with your footage in it is and select everything that you're wanting to edit here. Once everything is selected, click on import footage down below. After your footage is imported into the project panel and you're wanting to create a new sequence, if you right click your clip and then go down to the new sequence from clip. And based off of the settings from your video clip, it will create a sequence for you. The best thing about this method is that it creates a sequence off of your clip settings, so if you have got all of your settings correct in camera, then you're going to be good to go. This is the easiest way to create a new sequence, but if you know your settings a little bit more, and want to be different from your camera settings, then you can go up to File, New Sequence, and then it gives you all these options that you can sift through. We have released two short videos recently that show off the best 1080p 
and 4K video settings that are linked below and have cards available on the top right hand side if you would like to reference to these. So now you have your sequence in the project panel, but if you have created a new sequence from your clips, then your sequence is going to be titled whatever your clip was called. To change this, if you go to the sequence, right click and then go down to rename. Here I will change the name of the file to my final video name, which is how to start for beginners. A massive tip that I would use for the future in my projects, especially those that I know I'm going to be working on for days or weeks, is that every time I reopen the project file, maybe if it is a new day or I've gone away for lunch, then what I would do is duplicate the project file and add a number at the end like this. To make sure I have a backup, I would also email myself this project file with the subject being the same file name that we have named the folder at the start of this video, so that if worse came to worst and my project got corrupted then we have access to the project file in our emails which we can download easily and then link this to our backup footage. I hope that this beginner's guide really helped and if it did, if you could smash that like button that would be much appreciated. Please let me know in the comment section below on what tutorials you would like to learn in Premiere Pro. We have only just started off with this channel and only have a handful amount of videos created. Please check out our playlist with all the videos available on our channel in one playlist that is displayed at the top right hand side and the description below. Thank you for watching, goodbye.